We'll start off though with Liverpool versus Leicester and it was a comfortable, to say the least, for Jurgen Klopp's side. But I felt like that, didn't it? <laughs> they didn't yeah. really trouble Liverpool that much from what I saw at least. Mm, I mean, Leicester in that whole 90 minutes had one shot on target. Like, Maybe 10 years ago, I would say that's something normal for Leicester to achieve against Liverpool. However, in this day and age, them only having one shot on target is really strange. And the fact that they were just so dominated by Jurgen Klopp's side is really strange to see. And it makes my point of this uh, last few weeks of what is going on with Leicester and could this possibly be the end of Brendan Rodgers' case more strong? Potentially. I mean, it feels like at this point it just keeps going downhill and downhill even more. It's like watching some of the skiing and the Winter Olympics. (laughs) Yes. Um, Admittedly, though, they do have games in hand. I mean, they have two games in hand over Crystal Palace, who are below them in 13th in the league, and three games in hand over uh, some at the top four. But you just look at them and you d- I just don't know whether they would win them games. But you have to look at how they started the game. Like that defensive line which was rumoured to be Amate and Ndidi as the centre backs with Yeah. James Justin who's not long come back from a long term injury and then Luke Thomas who they rate but I don't know if he is actually good enough to make it in the Premier League so it brings Mm. a lot of concern and you see both of their centre-backs are on the bench Yeah, Yannick Vestergaard and Kelja Sionchu were on the bench and I looked at that and initially, because I know you sent me the message and I was like, wait, what do you mean Um, they've got injuries? Because I didn't look at the bench at the time, but then afterwards I was like wait, they've got both their main centre backs in on the bench and Vestergaard who they invested in heavily this past uh, year to be their centre back because of injuries they had and they don't start them was just very puzzling from uh, Brendan Rodgers Is is the Wallach of Wesley Fofana that big a miss? Is that the issue? Because I mean, unless there's another guy out that I haven't realised uh, Johnny Evans is the other defender can... out Johnny Evans, that is it. So, yeah, Fafana and Evans is probably the main start. Oh, although maybe it's Sancho, but Sancho has been going downhill ever since like the Euros. Remember, he had a very bad Euros for Turkey. Yeah, he was really bad there, and he just has carried it on. I mean, it's just so baffling how bad Leicester are. I mean, just a few stats to uh, pick your brains at. So they've won two of their last Premier League uh, last eight Premier League games I mean admittedly uh, their form prior to that wasn't really something to write home about but it was still uh, not as bad as this they were humiliated in the FA Cup by Nottingham Forest Jamie Vardy still their top goal scorer in the league and he's been injured all of 2022 and hasn't scored since their game on the 28th of November. Like, this is really worrying times for Brendan Rodgers' side when you look at that. Yeah, and dare I say, like, from a club standpoint, it shows that maybe they've over-relied now too much on someone like Jamie Vardy, especially when you've got someone like Kalichi Nacho, who clearly is good enough to be playing a lot more than he is. Hmm. You know, Pat Sandaka has his moments as well. I just feel like the time with Vardy is pretty much done and he's not really a starter for them yeah I mean it is just so concerning like they heavily invested in their forward line yet it hasn't paid off for them which is a rare thing for them lately because they've been pretty spot on with their recruitment the last few seasons Mm. yeah I mean another thing as well though uh, I, I didn't know this stat until I looked afterwards but uh, the, on the BBC it says they haven't kept a clean sheet away from home since the 7th of February last year what was this bad as Watford? 
<laughs> it was a, yeah. the start that came out Watford hadn't got a clean sheet like 31 games yeah, it turns out Leicester are just as bad yeah I mean obviously this is away from home but that's still really bad to see and uh, a team like Leicester there's got to be question marks over this whole situation and then you look forward for them their fixture list don't, doesn't get any easier like they no, have I some uh, the, said I haven't seen the fixture list for, but like, they're not going down it's not going to be that drastic but their season feels like it's petering out like a few teams yeah, it's, that we'll get into yeah it's kind of like on a knife edge of they've still obviously can win silverware with the European Conference League but at the same time this wouldn't surprise me if this was Brendan Rodgers' last season with them well maybe but maybe that's where their focus is maybe they're going all out on the Conference League to get back into the Europa League hmm um, I mean, it was anyway, a joke. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah. That was just. I, I don't know. I don't know whether that is something's the, off. Something is really off with Leicester from what we've seen in the past. Yeah. 